Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am spilling the tea today and it's gonna be a lot and deep and um, hard for me. So <laughs> bear with me, let's get into it. Why I quit keto. So as you know, a few months back or a few weeks back or whatever it was, I transitioned from keto to low carb. Um, but I really think that um, I want to share the story of why, why that happened. Um, and I want to be, you know, really honest about my feelings. Uh, so, um, let's just get into it. So let me just start by saying I'm not okay. Um, the hate the negative comments have gotten to me. And I'll be honest, <laughs> I'm not okay. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm just not okay. I started this, you know, TikTok account a year and a half ago just to share my journey. I'm just a normal mom, a normal person. I was on a postpartum journey. I just wanted to hold myself accountable. I didn't know it would turn into 4.7 million people following me and watching my every move and criticizing every step I made along the way. You know, the cycle of trying to be perfect and to lose the weight because I was in uh, being under this microscope and being watched and, oh, her arms look fat, her this looks fat, her face is chubby again, oh my gosh, she's getting weight again, oh, keto, it's not working, it's yoga. All of that obsessiveness and those thoughts have gotten really toxic for me. And yes, keto was the right answer for me for a long time. I enjoyed it, it was fun, I was having fun with food, I felt great, I was losing weight, I was happy. And honestly, the hate and negativity um, really pushed me to a place that I didn't like. And it just really did. It really pushed me to a place that was very toxic for me. Um, I felt like I couldn't do anything right. You know, people were mad. I wasn't eating bread. Then I ate bread and they were like, she's a quitter. She's a yo-yo dieter. It was like, I, I just, I just felt like I couldn't do anything right. And I, I just, I always said I would do keto as long as it was fun and sustainable and felt good and worked for me. And um, the hate and negativity has really pushed me to a place where it's not good for me anymore. Um, coming to that realization, um, I have chosen to work with a nutritionist and um, I am working on balance, I'm working on my health, working on my mental health. Um, but I really got to say, if, if you feel like leaving, um, a negative comment on this video, please refrain. I am not in any space to handle it at the moment. Um, and I am forever grateful for the opportunity that like TikTok and this, and this community and, and that I have. And I don't want to dismiss that and I, I do see a lot of the of the amazing comments and the encouraging comments and I do do value all of those people. I do. Um, I'm just being honest that the hate and negativity and it's just really pushed me to a toxic place and I'm gonna work on my mental health and balance. I want my page to be a safe space where I can share the ups and downs of my life um, I'm not perfect. I'm not a dietitian and I'm not a nutritionist. I'm just someone out here trying to be the best version of myself with the tools that I know how. And I'm learning just like we all are. And I want you all to come on that journey with me. So here I am at the mercy of the nutritionist. I am following what she says. Um, and I'm feeling really great. I feel better than I have in a really long time. I'm eating more food than I have in a really long time. I I don't wanna be put in a box of low carb, keto, calorie counting, macro counting. I'm just me. I'm just me out here trying to do the best that I can and have be the best version of myself um, for me, for my daughters, 
for anyone who's here on my page. I just want to be open and honest. And that's really where I am today. I don't want to be labeled anything other than me. And I truly have a passion for creating recipes and having fun with food. And just this is the next journey for me, the journey to balance health, wellness, and balance.